Um, I do say so myself. Warford is not one of my favorite maps at all. As a matter of fact, I really don't like the map. Um, it's definitely a challenging map, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 been good fights what I've seen so far, though. It's been good fights so far. Oh, what the fuck? Max, are you seeing this? I, I am indeed seeing this. <laughs> There's no way they're doing this. There's no way, right? There's no uh, shot. They're beaming. I, I mean, they're I think, beaming. I think they, they are uh, gonna, gonna be doing that. Um, there is no way. I, I see Toes is going against the meta. Uh, he's not bringing Zerker. Um, toes and Rip but... looks like Toes is definitely uh, uh um definitely opting out of that. He uh he does probably doesn't have him. That's probably what it is. He doesn't, he's not acting like that. <laughs> he probably doesn't have true. him. That is so fucking funny. Look at this unit composition right now. What is Surf Slayer's right? They have their classic unit composition for a tournament, and uh, and then uh, wow, what a, uh, if this works? I'll be freaking shocked. Wow. I, uh... Not not to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't know that this is gonna work out well for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is quality. That's quality content. That's quality content. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> Please, if this works, I'll be so fuck. I'll be so happy. <laughs> Honestly, Surf Slayer just gotta give up after with this with this this unit cap. They just gotta surrender, bro. There's no stopping it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's on your mind, Max? Go ahead, Max. Tell me what's on your mind, brother. I, you know, part of me believes that, you know, this is, there's some big brain play here, and the other part of me thinks that this is just a 14-man Zerker rush the walls strat, and that's kind Look of- Look how set like. up they are, bro! <laughs> the Surf Slayer's in position, set up on Central. They're going for the full rush, and they're already there! Why would they still do it? Oh... Oh lord, they're all going to their death. There's only a couple ladders on this map. I, I I'm not sure about this strat. Um, tab right is gonna get hard focus. It looks like Surf Slayers will give. Surf Slayers is gonna give it. Wow. I'm gonna slow my camera real quick. There we go, nice and slow. Wow, they're actually gonna give. Uh, they're giving A here. They're not want to deal with the trebs. They went for a full hero rush. Surf Slayer not even say, saying fuck it. We're going to falco you from a distance, but we're not going to actually engage you. Um, interesting, interesting play here uh, by by both teams, to be honest. I mean, they the Falcons get instantly trebbed. Going. They're still going. They're going for full momentum push right now. Uh, classic NA momentum push. Canadians on the back line with Zerkers. Um, they all have Zerkers, excuse me. Uh yeah. Yeah. This is this is this is interesting, brother. This is interesting. Hmm. Icy says yeah, you're the best I, co co host, by the way, in case you're wondering. Yeah. I uh I do think that uh that was the right call from Surf to uh to kind of give that up. Um and the other problem I think that Chocolate Paladin is gonna run into is that with only one unit that was able to push uh towers their gate is not gonna be open so no it's gonna be literally it's literally gonna they're gonna open they can, they're not gonna have a gate open unless they push it they're, um, they're gonna is... have to switch something up here before they go in to push or they will have nowhere to come in with those 15 sets of armor gears <laughs> <laughs> oh lord help me this loadout bro I, i'm really kind of curious to see if it plays off if it works um, it looks like, uh, Ch Chocolate Paladin and Surf Slayers. It looks like, uh, uh, what the fuck is, uh, dude, what is Paladins doing? I think they're all going to switch up. No players. way. Why? No. Oh, yes, they are. They're all switching their unit comps right now. Interesting play. They're not sticking to the Zerker rush. Uh, it looks like Surf Slayers will have time to set up. They're actually, Surf Slayers is like, what the fuck are these idiots doing? <laughs> like, look at them. Surf Slayers like running around in circles right now, trying to figure out what's actually going down, what's actually happening. Oh, yes. This is good, dude. This is good. Look at this. They're all just like vibing, brother. Like, oh, let's switch out unit comms. I guess we'll probe with a couple pikes. Like, one with the pikes, a pole axe, a short sword. Uh, they're going to take that. Looks like uh, Chocolate Palace is going to take down their, uh, so it's like, literally like, where the fuck are these guys? Literally, they're, like, they're literally talking about, the, they get back to the walls. Like, yeah, we took A and B. We bought ourselves the four minutes. Now we're going to take the time, the time, brother. 
<laughs> I'm fucking crying. This is my this is my favorite matchup yet. This is literally my favorite matchup. Oh shit. This is definitely a, a tournament first for me. I, I've never seen this. <laughs> I'm fucking crying, dude. Hmm. So the Unicop has definitely changed back out. Dude, are you seeing this right now, Maximus? Press tab. Yeah, they've, uh... In Pike Army, bro. <laughs> <laughs> entire it, it's probably the only thing that they can fit with the uh, dude I don't, know. Oh. I, I don't know how this is gonna work out oh. those falcos are already shooting into the breeze <laughs> those falcos are definitely much better placed than the chocolate paladins pa uh, falcos for sure um surf is taking the same position this time they're giving tab left completely surf is giving tab left completely setting up for supply and central um, letting them have the alleyway. Let's let the Falcos mark, mark them forehead. I mean, that's really what they're thinking right now. It looks like uh, Chaka Palace is going to play it slow real quick. Um, let, their, let the Trebs do their job. Um, and Imp Pikes is ready to go. Um, the unit comp out right now for Star Slayers can counter Imp Pikes pretty, pretty decisively. There's no calf on the field at this point in time except for Chaka Paladin's calf. It looks like they've got time their walks white. Oh, look at that! We got a flanking play right now by Chocolate Palace. Two engagements happening right now. I'm going to try to get an angle for it. They got an engagement on Tab West side between multiple hero traits. Got to be one here. Trep's coming on Tab West side. Cav flanking Tab right. Going for the Falcons with the supply point. The supply point is the real goal here. Wayne's out saying, fuck that. I'm going for fucking C and I'm flanking all of it. Look at the flanking play coming to catch. He's coming in hot right now. Surf Slayers has got to win their exchanges here, otherwise it's game-changing. Uh, we have to see it go down. Keshi's coming in from the tab right side into central, uh, dying to some pikes and Fort Brachio there. Tab left side is still being hard fought. Manassi's pushing as well. Wow. And... Unfortunately, they've lost that infantry engagement on the, the far side. They definitely um, lost the engagement. Yeah. Not enough. Not enough DPS. I, I don't think with all the empikes and I too think many all the I think all the pal the palace guards from uh, Surf Slayer are really hard countered. I mean, Chocolate uh, Paladins is still in, but they have nobody blocking supply point this time. At this time, which means Surf Slayer is able to recover, pull back units, and get back in the fight. And by the time look at all the calf that just got and from here supply. it comes. There's the calf. It's a calf on calf scenario. A couple empikes still in the fight. Trips flying. But um, it, there is the cab, ladies and gentlemen. There's the wipe, and there's the wipe right there. Uh, Chocolate Palace getting completely wiped by multiple sets of cash shakes coming in and clearing it done. Um, pulled the impikes too soon. The unit comp was definitely not there. I really don't know what the plan was with all those impikes. They just wasted all those impikes. Um, definitely memeing pretty hard this fight. Um, Chocolate Palace has wasted a lot of units. They're definitely down double units. Yeah, they are. Um... We'll have to see how, if they're able to recover from this. They still have Berserkers. They still have some other stuff. Um, and it looks like, uh, yeah, oh my god. Look at all this Claymore's cash shakes in pipes. Like, unit comp right now for Surf Slayers is healthy. They're resetting completely right now on, on Supply Point. Having Rob at the Sable and Zet kind of watching the flank. Giving time for C, kind of scouting. Letting the boys get recovered and healed up since they figured they have about a two-minute window. Whoever's calling right now for Slayer Slayers is doing an excellent job. I have to say, very quick. This is a, definitely a, a veteran tournament team. Um, they are very healthily coordinated. Um, very coordinated indeed. I mean, one of the chat, if we agree with that, definitely coordinated. Um, and A's finest has been ran. Interesting, interesting. I, 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 Max, what's your thoughts right now? What do you, what do you think is going to go down here? Like, what's predict? Uh, I mean, all they really have left at this point is the, the Zerkers we saw initially, and then whoever has, has Armager. Uh, I think that's really all they have left. Um, they did manage to snag one of the Falcos with the the supply cap, uh, but I think that second set did manage to to stay intact, so that'll be in play for Surf Slayer here. Absolutely. Looks like they're going to do a three-way rush here for Pachaka Bounds doing for a three-way rush uh, going tab right mid, tab left and central. Surf Slayers is really prioritizing supply here. Handful of players watching C, but the main players, they're going to kind of wait for these teams to make their plays go in and then they're going to flank on this tab right side for sure right here. Lex, Rotten, Banner, and Flair getting ready for the flanking play. Central being recovered by Robert Disable and the boys over there. Medici trying to get held it down. True Dan making a flanking play, but it's going to be tough. Uh, Jason West also engaging with OG Fnatic. Ripcats kind of retreating here. Um, Roll in the back line. Not really sure what Roll's doing. He's kind of just there. Um, 
They yeah, are kind of winning the sea fight. They are definitely winning the sea fight. Um, need to win against the Cav there. Tabrite's gonna go down. Once Tabrite comes in, Central probably will go with it. Looks like it's gonna be a hero trade here for a little bit on sea. The priority for Chocolate Paladins is to win their exchange here and keep units. But look at all that Cav coming in, Max. I mean, there's, there's no stopping that, man. There's no stopping that. Cav coming in with PGs, Claymores mixed in, damage reduction. It's just beefy and healthy, man. Um, yeah, here it comes, man. Here it comes. Here comes the wipe. Uh, and there it is. Uh, decisive. Yeah, there I'm sorry, man. Is. I'm sorry. I feel really bad for Pal Pal Chocolate Paladins right now. Um, very interesting strat. They were definitely just figuring to say, fuck it, let's test out some units and see what happens. Um, but it's definitely looking like a very tough seven minutes for them here. Um, I'm not sure if C goes. What are your thoughts, Matt? Do you think C goes? I, I do not um, think C is going to go here. Uh, I think... Chocolate Paladins potentially had a had a chance on that first push. Um, if a couple of the Cav players for supply stay alive and mm -hmm. potentially dance on the supply, um, but I don't didn't see that happen. They they both kind of died trying to kill the Falco, and so Surf Slayer came off with you know five six fresh units and uh, you know just kind of shut down what little push that they had left. Yeah, I think, uh, and I think that costed them. I think Surf Slayer is also being pretty generous here. Um, they probably could have salad on that wipe, and they chose not to and let them set back up for another attack. They're playing very conservative. Uh, I think that's an honorable play by Surf Slayer to not Sally, and uh, I do respect them not doing that to them. They are definitely probing the gate, watching it, but they're not pushing out into the, letting them come to them. Very conservative play. I think that's definitely a respectful move by Surf Slayer here, so kudos to them. Um, it looks like at this point... Uh, the comms are kind of questionable for Chocolate, Chocolate Paladins. Um, they're just sitting at gate right now. Um, not even really... We'll have to see where they go uh, and what they do and how they recover from this. It's looking very tough right now. I mean, they still have units on the field. They still have some unit comp left. Not really... I mean, unit comp I don't really agree with, but they do have units on the field. Um, yeah, it's, it's very tough. Uh, it's very tough. It looks like they are saying, fuck it. It's about time they win as a death ball. That's where that's where NA is strongest in death ball format. Take notes from PG. They are literally, they need to do that. Um, look, look at this, bro. The full supply point push. Surf is going to be watching the flank. They got to have players watching the flank. And Chocolate Pounders does not. Um, it looks like they have one guy trying to respond to it. Two guys trying to respond to it. They will have their flank covered, it looks like. Um, they have to win their exchange now. Hard exchange coming in. Inter the unit comp is very interesting. I'm going to go in for a closer look. Uh, Jackie Turner is cutting them off with... Carting them off with, uh, I don't even know what that was. Um, yeah, it is not looking good here at all for uh, nah, Surf Slayers. Surf Slayers is dead. Yeah, they're dead. They're just, they're just, I mean, I mean, Surf Slayers is going to wipe them here. Uh, Chalk Balance are dead. Yeah, they're all dead. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not really sure what to say here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say. Uh, it is. It's just good business. I mean, for those of you that ever watched Pirates of the Caribbean, and you ever saw like the final, the final part where the Flying Dutchman and the uh, Black Pearl sink the, the the major ship, the major British ship, and the guy just says it's just good business. That's really Chocolate Paladins right now. Um, they're definitely struggling, having a hard time. Ripcats has like seven guys chasing. There's nothing Ripcats can do. Ripcats is probably an S tier player, but they're one of the best players in the game. But literally, there's just nothing he can do here. It's not his fault. Um, you can probably take that 1v1. Honestly, I'm kind of more interested in this 1v1 right now than I am the actual fight at this point. Surf Slayers will sally out in the final four minutes. They said, fuck our honor, fuck our respect. Kenny Cowboy is actually going to leave the match. Ripcats, they're all leaving the match. They have had enough. OG Fanatic also DCs. Uh, Ripcats DCs. mid -Gee DCs. They are literally leaving the match. They are seeding the match. They have surrendered completely. Um, Max, what are the thoughts right now? It looks like Kachaka Paladins is full on surrendering the match. They are all leaving, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, Sag in the chat, they have full on given up. Uh, the match has definitely decisively been lost. Uh, I'm going to actually DM Mask and see if he wants me to continue. If he wants me to play it out. Or if he wants me to see the match. Uh, we got three minutes of just them vibing right now. Honestly, you should just line up and take a family photo at this point in time. A uh, very, very tough match for Chocolate Paladins. They don't even want to finish this up. They know it's over. Um, yeah. Yeah. Max, what are your thoughts so far, man? I, I, I think the... I think the unit comp was uh, a bit too on the troll side uh, for Paladin. Um, the the aggressive ladder play to A is kind of, I guess, one thing, but the full Zerker, I think, was uh, a bit much. Um, and it ended up costing them a lot. Um, there were a lot of other unit comps uh, that I think would have been a bit more viable for 
for what they wanted to do. And yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of reflected in the, the stats here. Um, it was definitely a very tough matchup. Uh, for Chocolate Paladins, a newer team coming together, forming up, and they're fighting the, the champions of the previous tournaments. Um, they definitely, uh, the, you know, I think on the first try, at first fight they did on defense, they def I like their unit comp a lot better. I think the Saliat was not the play on that first defense, but uh, now that this, this first, on this attack, I really don't know what happened here. I really don't know why they brought those units. I think they were kind of memeing a little bit and said, fuck it. Um, yeah, I really don't think that was the play on that first attack at all. Um. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, let's be real. I, I, I think Sorceress is definitely a very strong team, and definitely kind of showed us off on, that, on this, this afternoon um, that they meant business, that they really came to play and make things happen. Um. So.